So today is July 6th and after, it's still like 6th day. Yeah. So today is July 6th and after being open for a good month here, I am finally visiting Avengers Campus for the very first time. Now I'm an insider in these places. I know all about Avengers Campus already. I've actually already been on one of the rides, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, many, many times. So uh, I know what to expect going in. Uh, but we are at the back lot right now and I'm ready to take a look at what's ahead. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, that's here now. I forgot all about it. Well, good news if you want to rope drop Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue, there is no standby line at all. So I figured, I figured what better way to ring in the new than with a little bit of the old. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout right now. We are walking, I see it. I see Avengers Campus. And I'm ready to go. Shawarma Palace. Oh, I have to talk decently loud because apparently all the music in this land is copywritten. So if I talk loud over it, that way I don't get struck down. By the way, Offer code OFFHAND15 for 15% off your entire purchase at themagiccandlecompany.com. Guys, look at the goop! Look at the goop! Look at it! Ooh. Oh, there he is up there. Uh -oh. visited an old classic and now I think it's time to go see some of the new stuff that they got. Maybe we'll see some characters. We're gonna go get some Pim's breakfast first though. And some cool Ant-Man toys. Let me show you. Pretty good. I'm not one to show myself eating. I think it's weird and I think it's gross watching other people eat, but maybe if you're lucky, you'll get to see me eat this little piece of garnish. All right, I think you guys were good. Our boarding group for Spider Man Web Slingers was just called, so we're gonna head over there. But first, I think I should eat something on camera for you guys. You know? It's not too bad. That's, that's a good, that's a good garnish. Let's go right web slingers. So you can maybe, maybe see there, we're in group 33, it's time to head in. We have to head in in the next 48 minutes. I believe it's straight ahead right there. All right guys, I'm like a five year old child right now. I have the web slinger attachment, watch this. Is that not the coolest thing you've seen in your entire life? That's the coolest thing I've ever gotten from Disney ever. This is the best thing I've ever done. Come on in while we prep for your test drive on the Slinger. We'll be starting in just a few moments. 
We hope you have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. <laughs> and now, our project lead, the brilliant, Ow. oh, uh. Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. And here at Web, we get access to some pretty awesome tech products. Vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have Kim Parker and Star Tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like um, like these fireballs, for example. Check it out, they have this really cool self-replicating feature. Big time? Uh, because it's awesome. Buddy, you can stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the web slinger vehicle. Using onboard tech, you will be able to sling webs just like my buddy Spider-Man. Hey there, your free condition is getting away from you. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Sharon. If you could just initiate the safety protocols, I'd be really good. Problem with that, Peter. So anyway, you want to sling a web, all you gotta do is Stick your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web, and that's it. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate, and are consuming everything oh. in their path. Oh. They seem to be stuck in some location mode. If you could just handle that room, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, you chat. Could you just call someone else to ask them to do it? Okay. Contacting Spider-Man. Weird. Um, I'm gonna go find Spider-Man first off because he's around here somewhere. Okay, goodbye. Spider-Man! As you may have noticed, the Spider-Bots are lost in that awesome self-replication mode. In spite of what we see, they were created to be robotic helpers that can break down raw material and create all kinds of useful tech. But because they are stuck in self-replication mode, the Spider-Bots are currently consuming everything in sight and multiplying at an alarming rate. It's left them my calculations predict this will lead to the devastation of the entire Avengers campus. We should be safe until Spider-Man gets here, as long as they don't get into the alien fluid. This is now a bigger problem. Activating threat level protocols. Hey guys, what's up? I hear you have a phone problem. I'm here to help. You made it. Great. Threat level is at an exponential danger. You might need some help. Perhaps I'll call the Avengers? Don't worry, everyone. I got this. Okay, everybody. Open house is canceled. Why idea? But I could use some help. Yes, you could. Sharon, cut the slinger vehicles. Already on it. Everyone head to the slingers and we'll team up to stop the spider boss before they destroy the campus. It's easy. That's a big old lap bar. scene it would have made it perfect with perfect ride perfect length it is a little short uh, but here as you can see we're clearly not at web slingers anymore we are currently in what is story-wise the Los Angeles sanctum and right there through that door maybe later on in the video we'll show you I believe Doctor Strange enters I haven't seen any spoilers for this land so we'll go find out later Nothing to see here. Move along. I 
assets at risk. Reinitializing. Taskmaster, what do you want? HQ back online. Ms. Romanoff, the Wakandan cargo has been secured safely inside the crew jet. It's in the jet. Let's go. time jump here. Uh, it's now the end of the day. The city of Anaheim is right outside that door there. But I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about Avengers Campus. I'm going to play some footage over this so it doesn't get too boring. I really liked this land, okay? Avengers Campus is what I wanted Galaxy's Edge to be and also you know, disappointing in sort of the same way. Let me tell you about this though, okay? So I'm not really a big Star Wars fan. Star Wars is fine. I really do like it. But Marvel is one of my favorite things ever. I love the TV shows, I love the movies, the comics, the characters, everything. I love Marvel. And so this land has more of a meaning to me than Galaxy's Edge does. Now, it's not as large, or it doesn't have as much to do as Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge has two attractions, a bunch of shops, a bunch of restaurants. Avengers Campus has one, two-ish restaurants, uh, some quick service places, um, some carts, and it's got one attraction, two, I would count Mission Breakout um, as an e-ticket. So you have Mission Breakout, you have Spider-Man, and then you have the aforementioned, or aforementioned is how you would say it, Avengers e-ticket attraction. Now the Avengers e-ticket attraction, people are saying is going to be canceled. I'm not too convinced on that. I think it's delayed, but they are definitely, the facade is there. Why would you build a facade for nothing, you know? The Avengers e-ticket is happening, guys. It's not, it's, it's, I promise you it's happening. Don't know when, but it's happening. It's not canceled. Um, so the land feels really populated. That's what I like about it, okay? Because Galaxy's Edge, you have Rey and Chewbacca, Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers. They're all hanging out there up on their railing. Sometimes they'll walk through, you know, back in the pre-COVID times. Um, here, there is always a character to see and interact with, whether it be Captain Marvel or Black Panther up on the Avengers uh, Quinjet building or maybe you can see Doctor Strange or the Dora Milaje over there in that area. There's always something to do and someone to see, someone to talk to and I think that's really really neat and I think they should do that in more lands. Doing Do it with the Country Bears or the characters from Princess and the Frog in Critter Country or maybe some ghosts near the Haunted Mansion. Hmm? Uh, so having characters like that brings Galaxy's Edge brings Avengers Campus to life in a way that the other lands don't really do. Uh, web Slingers. Love Web Slingers. I'm going to give you more in-depth thoughts on this uh, in a later video on Avengers Campus Masterpiece or Mess, which is coming. But uh, for now, just my quick, quick and dirty uh, Avengers Campus thoughts. I'll probably uh, do another video later on down the line. This The vlog ended kind of abrupt, abruptly, because like I said, I'm not too great at him. So, Web Slingers. Web Slingers was good. Um, I don't see why people were ha hating on it as much. I do have the the uh, the web shooter. I posted on Twitter about it. You can see that right there. Uh, I loved I loved uh, Web Slingers. The ride was amazing. It was a shooting gallery ride like Midway Mania. The technology where you're slinging your webs is amazing. The pre-show was really well done. Uh, everything about the, the pre-show leading up to the ride is good. Even the ride itself, you're going through scenes of the campus. You're going through web, and then you're going through, you know, Mission Breakout, and then you're going through the uh, the Quinjet experience. So I think that's really well done. Something that Disney should do more often is, you know, uh, put the outside world into the attraction. So they did this with, you know, Web Slingers, and I think they did it kind of with uh, Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run, where you land in the actual land itself. I think that's really something cool and something they should expand on in other attractions. I have a complaint though, it's a little too short. That's my only complaint with Web Slingers, it's a little bit too short. I think if there was one more shooting gallery in there, I think there's three, if there was one more shooting gallery, I feel like it'd be a perfect length, but right now it feels just a little too short for me, and I know they can't extend it, that's my only complaint, is it's too short. Short in a similar way that the uh, the Orlando Pirates is too short. It really is over before it gets going, if you know what I'm talking about. 
And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next offhand Disney vlog, whenever that may be. Next week, probably. Or the week after. Wherever that may be. Goodbye. All right, and that's a wrap on the offhand Disney vlog verse.